What is up everybody, Madcap here, and welcome back to more Titan Quest. So last time we stomped all over the Troll King, which felt pretty good. Uh, I enjoyed that greatly. And I died to a bunch of kiddie pools, which was unfortunate. Um, so I think I had at least two or three deaths in the last episode. Oops. Oh well, what are you going to do? And we're still on the road to, what is it, Glauberg or something? Yeah, Glauberg, Gla Glauberg. So that is pretty much all I'm doing in this episode. It's just a straight line up so far right here. I do see a point of entrance or interest uh, on the map up here. So I don't know if I can get to that. I would assume maybe there's a path that branches off. I don't know. I'm guessing we're going to be there eventually. And I did buy this. I saw it in the shop for like 400 some odd thousand gold. And I was like, well, why not try it? It has plus 23% attack speed and a physical damage boost. So... I don't know. I figured I'd give it a shot. What's the worst that happens? I waste 400,000 gold. Ugh. Look at that. Look at her fancy throwing it all. It's a lot smaller than I thought it would be for some reason. I, I don't know why. I guess it is a throwing weapon. It almost looks like a giant oversized throwing star. Yeah, look at that. Ah, it is fast. I'll give it that, but... Obviously, it kind of sucks because of the range, so we shall see. As long as I can figure out the range on this thing. Okay, right. You guys hurt. And I'm slower now. Thanks a lot, water monsters. Oh, yeah, I'm not supposed to be doing that. I also... It is piercing, right? Um... Uh... Yeah, I think it might be. I don't know. Eh. There you go. I'm, I can't judge it based on these stupid water freaks. Because the kiddie pools are hard to hit with anything. So I don't, I'm not really judging the weapon based on these fights. Stupid ass pieces of water. Okay, what do we got? Z. X. Alright, we are in a business now. Stone heap, your mind. Look at this. Look, there's trash all over. I'm polluting the water. Man. Can I get that? Oh, I can. Whew. I can't walk any further, so it kind of just rolled out of my range. What is this? Frostbite shine. Let's not try that yet. Hello, pig. I would like you to die, please. Ooh, that worked well. I can actually see the sparky do explosions from the, uh, the scatter shots. Very good. Very nice. It is nice when people are up close, I guess, because it's faster than the Eldritch Bow. So maybe that'll come in handy. Oh, more of you. Oh, there's like five of you. I don't like fighting one of you. There we go. Yeah, that's right. I'm using right click. I'm figuring it out. I probably should just freaking spear these guys. I still don't have a way to fight them. So I might as well just do whatever. Smack them in the face with my wood. I guess that's about all I can do. Water spirit, Nixie. Alright, you're next. Wait, why are you wearing gauntlets? You're made of water. Hey, get back here. You're, you're wearing gauntlets. Why? You're a mystical being that's formed into a human. And you're made of water. And you feel the need to wear gloves and a tiara? Alright. Sure, I guess. I mean, if I was made of water... I don't think I'd be wearing gloves. I'd be like, dude, I'm made of water. This is cool enough already. I mean, you don't see the lava monsters wearing gloves and armor, do you? Because you're made of lava. You don't need armor and gloves. It's already badass enough. But who am I to judge? Robber brute. Rob my axe into your face. You can steal that. Ah, yes, piercing. There we go. Booyah! So far, this isn't going too bad. Not too bad at all. Hey! That that wasn't nice. Come on. We're, we're all just here to have fun, alright? Okay. I don't see anything over here. Uh, don't. Also, I am, I think... One... Maybe two episodes ahead... So, I'm still looking at recommendations and tips, but I might have utterly failed some of them already. I think it was... It was Innocence Games, I think. I don't remember. 
that was mentioning how my axe was actually decent. I kind of already sold that, sorry. I didn't like it. My bad. I'm trying. But yeah, I kind of already sold that. But that's why, I mean, I haven't had anything fantastic. It was just a green axe, so I don't know. Um, but that's why in Grim Dawn, I would save items. Like, I would save my blue or rare items through a couple episodes because I was ahead. Just in case somebody was saying, Oh, that's the greatest thing I've ever seen ever, and you're super lucky to have gotten that drop. That way I wouldn't feel stupid for selling it. That's how my inventory filled up in Grim Dawn. It was great. What is this? Is this a well? Um, I hate to break it to you, but I don't think you finished drilling your well. It kind of just looks like it's dirt. It's not really how wells work. You kind of have to dig down to water. You can't just put a box and a bucket over the ground and the bucket fills up with water. But I mean, you're living your life and it's all right. I'm not here to judge you, but I kind of am. Aspiring winemaker. Go away. What do you want now? Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, traveler. Yeah, you should I be. I have an axe. Look at this. I'm filthy robbers. I've got this axe My pointed right at your face, me. man. I built this vineyard in an attempt to grow our own Celtic wine here on these sunny slopes. Some people laugh at the idea, and these Ligurian grapes are indeed not ideally suited to our climate. Uh huh. But I believe it can be done. Okay. If only those bandits would leave me alone. Yes. They sure liked my wine. Uh huh. It has been a warm summer. So just yesterday, I managed to produce a first sample. But they came and took it. Everything. The moment I'd finished pouring This it sounds like a barrel. terrible plight. Now they're probably Do sitting you want me to go kill a bunch of people? Getting drunk on my wine. Uh huh. The wine I wanted to present to the prince. The prince? It's just not fair. You kind of have that backwards, dude. I think you mean the princess. You're trying to woo the princess. Not the prince. He doesn't care about you. Also, why do people never tell me what they want me to do? It's like, hey, here's my plight, here's my story, and I'm done with the story. Okay, you have a new quest. It's like, but you didn't tell me to do anything! You just told me a story about people stealing your wine. Is that like, hey, hint, 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 nudge, nudge, maybe go kill some people for me? You guys are slackers. Wine from the Rhine. <sighs> Get back his wine while there's still is some left. How do we know there's some left? If it's a bottle of wine, couldn't they have just drank it already? It's just like all gone. I don't know. It's like an awfully weird plight to me. Should I kill the furry boars while I'm at it for you? Should I plant your seeds while I'm here as well? Do you want me to harvest your crops also? Ugh. These poor NPC people. What a terrible plight they live in. Oh, whoa! I mean, the dude can't even figure out how to drill his own wills. Or will. His own well, so... Kind of don't trust him to run an entire vineyard. But it's okay. Damn! Go on, get. Go on, get. Come on. Tenderfoot. Pfft, I'd believe that in a second. Look at you guys. Torque of Acuity. Torque's not really a thing, except it's spelled differently, so I understand that. Before you go telling me, that's not Torque. Torque's not a thing. Uh, wait, where am I going for this guy? I guess I'll just keep going north. I suppose. Perhaps there's more vineyard up here. Maybe that's the bandit cave. Right here. Cave entrance. Hmm. Yes, yes, yes. I like this plan. What? Oh, you son of a bitch. How did all of those not do anything? I, I don't know. It looks like they're going over the hill to me. All right. Whatever you say. Am I going to kill? Yeah, I killed the guy in the back. That's exactly the way I wanted to do that. While still damaging the people in front of me. It's called a plan, folks. It's what I got. It's what I'm doing. Ah, here's the wolves. Get out of here, wolves. Why are you all still hungry? Not every wolf can be hungry. That's just not even feasible. 
I mean, maybe around lunchtime or something, but... I don't know, every wolf I've seen is hungry. How do I know they're hungry? I mean, who's to say they're not just wandering around? Maybe they're full wolves, I don't know. Not really my place to judge. Unless I stop and ask one, which I certainly haven't done. An insulated Sagas. Sounds like a personal problem. There's creams to fix Sagasing problems, though. Natural cave. This does not seem like a spot bandits would be based on the bats and the rats. But maybe they are. Maybe they're sharing the cave. I don't know. Oh, yeah, they are. Look at that. Au revoir? Is that what you said? Rogue druid. Now you're a dead druid. Gotcha. Nailed it. Yeah, you go ahead and heal them. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Small chest? Wait, if this is a small chest... Right here. That's a big boot! Oh, that's not a boot. That's a... Never mind, that's a shirt. I knew that. I was just kidding. It looks like a boot. It, it, it looks like a boot. I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't kidding. If this is a small chest... How is this a small chest? Shouldn't this be like a smaller-ist chest? And this is like a medium chest? Huh. Alright. Keg of wine! I was like, why did only one thing come out of there? Maybe it really is a small chest. Maybe the inside is very tiny and the outside is big. That could be it. It could be a matter of it only holds that one wine thing. But still, I would think it's a big chest. It doesn't matter the size of the inside of the chest. It's what's on the outside of the chest that matters. I mean, if you had a chest that was the size of a building but could only hold one case of wine, wouldn't it still be a large chest and not a small chest? I don't know. I'm just saying. These are these are important scientific things to discuss. Majestic chest. But this is also a small chest. By their standards. Huh. Interesting. They're judging this one by the outside, though. Is that... Oh, I was like, is that not gold? I thought that was gold. Alright, let's get out of here. I got your wine, fool. It's time for me to jet on out. And he's still pretty close, so that should be a quick trip, I think. A beautiful trip through the forest, eh? With one yellow tree. It's partially fall. That one small space is fall. Oh, there's another piece of fall. Hey, man. I got that thing you didn't tell me to do. My wine! And there's still some left. Oh, traveler. How did you do this? Thank you. Thank you. Uh-huh. Please, if you're going to Glauberg... Do me the honor and what? take this. So now I have to travel for you as well? For me. Keep whatever he trades you for it. It is my gift to you. I would just be excited to hear if he liked it the next time I come to town. Ugh. This guy scares me. So he made he spent all this time making a vineyard. Everybody laughed at him and said, You're stupid, you can't make a vineyard here. And then he finally harvests his vineyard grapes. Makes a wine that he thinks is super good and wants to give it to the prince. But then bandits steal it, so he asks me to get it back. And when I get it back, he says, oh, you can just have it. Go give it to the cook for the prince. I thought the whole point of this vineyard was for you to make that and give it to the prince. And be like, hey, check this out. I'm awesome. I think this guy has his priorities mixed up a little bit. That's weird. I could have never even come back to him and just taken the wine and he would have been like, Oh, well, that's fine. I made it. Derp -a -derp -a -derp. Real weird individual. Real weird individual. How come there are no thirsty wolves? Do they just have plenty of water? I'm led to believe, I guess. Huh. Oh, well. I'm obviously an animal expert. Just step into my range of fire. I can only manage to throw an axe about eh, 20 feet, maybe? It's alright. As long as you guys come to me, we're all fine here. I mean, at this point, it might, now, it might as well not even be a throwing axe. For the most part. Unless I'm fighting somebody that throws things back, they're all just gonna run up into my face. Same theory as the bow. If you think about it. Oh, oh look! 
We're just out of range of each other. This guy's sitting here taunting me like, yeah, I've got a throwing axe too. I know you can't hit me from there. But, wait, by the same standards, I can't hit you either. We're at a stalemate. What are we going to do? That's right. As we stare each other down, who's going to make the first move? Me, because I have a fucking spear and I'm going to hit you in the face with it. <laughs> you didn't plan for that one, did you, you son of a bitch? Oh. Poor saps. It's alright. What are you guys doing? Sitting on a rock. Hey, what is he? He's just pointing at her. Like, hey. Hey. Huh. I, I don't understand what you're doing here. Well, don't cry. I mean, sorry. I just didn't understand what you were doing. You didn't have to cry about it. Jeez. I'm leaving. I don't like those people. What? I heard somebody. Wait. What? Well. No. Why is there a road here, but they forgot to build a fence with a gate in it? I mean, maybe that can be opened. It sure doesn't look like it. Excuse me, sir and ma'am? Do you need some help? Are you trapped? Is this a camp? Are you are you prisoners here? Uh, excuse me. Ah, eh, fuck him. I tried. Maybe they just built it with no gate so these guys couldn't get in. I mean, maybe that's a smart idea. I, I don't know anything about them. I'm not going to judge them, I guess. Maybe these guys have been standing out here like, Oh my god. What do we do? How do we get in there? What have they done? I don't understand this. Also... Why are there people, like, playing on the hay and having a good time when there's murdering robbers right here? Or are they trying to hide in the hay? Maybe this guy's looking for a place to hide. Maybe they're clever. I'll give them that. I mean, it won't matter because I'm going to murder all these guys anyways, so, you know. It's all right. Yeah, you go back there and shake your fist in the air. See if I care. See, look, these guys have the right idea. They built it. What the hell is this thing? Bill Whiz? All right. Don't know what these things are. Here, come here. I want to look at you. Come here, Bill Whiz. What? What are you? You're like a tree with a coat. All right, that's cool. I I can understand what you are. You're Bill Wisp. Everybody's heard of Bill Wisp, obviously. <laughs> you guys didn't actually think I didn't know what a Bill Wisp was, was? Come on, come on. I, I got this. Everybody's heard the stories about Bill Wisp. I like their attack. They just kind of spin around slabbing me over and over. Uh, ow, my face. Oh, oh, please don't slap me anymore. Oh, no. <laughs> Following the road up to somewhere, hoping it's Glauberg. Because we're in the outskirts. I would love to have a real city. It's been a while. I mean, not that I have anything to do with a real city. I, I don't know why I'm asking for one. It's not like I'm like, boy, when I get to that real city, I'm going to do this, this, and X, and X, and this, and numbers and bullet points. Because I'm really not. This looks like a real city. Rebirth Fountain. Uh, it's got a cellar. <gasps> I see blue on the map. Isn't blue? Yeah, this is the portal. Blue is the mystic. It's a real city. It's madcap approved as a real city. Light up Stargate. There you go. We have now lit the Stargate. It's like P3X992 or something. That's what I'm going to name it. Hello. Princess of Scandia. Ilva. There you are. I expected you to arrive here before Wait, me. I've seen you before? Did your Greek captain Oops. sail safely along the shore? Oh, you were the person I'm back in... Right. Here. With your help, there may still be hope. There is a reason I wanted to meet here in Glauberg, besides it being along the route. The cult of Nerthus located nearby 
that is causing these people so much trouble may also hold the key to our salvation. So I have made arrangements with the prince so we could help each other. Wait, what am I looking at back here? Do you have twin tails? I'm kind of scared to ask what the hell's happening with your hair. But they kind of look like pigtails or twin tails or something. And that's freaking me out, man. Anyways, I love her voice. Such an awesome accent. What? What? Well, what are you doing with your hair? What is this? What am I looking at? Is it like a you heart bun? Oh! Ah! Ah! And all the surrounding territory. What is that? And head druid of the Nematon. Okay. Our mutual friend. Can you just write me a letter? That'd be easier. I scarcely believe, but I understand you are a very talented warrior. Yeah. I would be willing to assist your mission with what resources I have. Okay. If you will help us in turn. And we do I seem can't to stop have looking at him. Objectives. It is well known that Glauberg is the last great bastion of Celtic civilization before what? the Germanic wilderness. Right. The tribes beyond don't generally come near my walls. My they walls? Oh, they don't come near my world. walls. They worship Nerthus, a goddess of nature, and her shamans wield great Shamans? Power. Like the Shamwow? Her magic they are said to be more beast than man. Uh -huh. Living among animals and worse. Okay. But most of all, they have been abducting my people to use as sacrifices. Uh huh. Barrack rites. What? Say, would you dare stand against such a foe? Um, I wasn't really listening to what you had to say. I'm not gonna lie. This guy creeps Ooh. me out, man. You are brave indeed, warrior. Why? What have I done? Is this From another quest? What we know, the cult has four leaders, each uh -huh. representing one aspect of Nerthus herself. Okay. Journey northwards, past the Teutoburg Forest. The Teutoburg. Then east until you find a land of lakes wherein lies their sanctuary. Well, like Michigan? And slay them all. Or like the butter. I will give you this out of my personal treasury to help you accomplish this task. See it as a sign of trust. Th and the th first thanks? part of your what, you, what? Cleansing torque. You've given me physics. Thank you. What is this thing he's talking about? Oh. Oh, it's that thing. Okay. Thanks. I guess. I'm gonna go now. I don't like you. I don't like you at all. Bring back the princess. She's much cooler than you. Hey. What, what are you doing creeping back here by the barrels? Uh-huh. Okay, is that what you do at night? Ah, Knobelinus. Knobelinus. The prince is go- Oh, you're that guy. Hey, can't you see I'm busy? No, you're not actually doing anything. What, wine? Now that is something else. Let me taste. Ugh. A bit sour, don't you think? Well, I suppose <gasps> we could use it for making sour cabbage. Sir, how- Dare you. You can have this in return. Jesus, that was loud. 20,000 experience and a greater health potion. Okay. Fun with your sour cabbage, man. Hail, foreign warrior. No, don't say the elder to to win glory in battle. Good. With these germanes at our borders, there are enough heads for everyone to collect. That was a long-winded speech. Am I going to have to hear that every time I talk to you? Probably yes. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. These are red. I can't wear them anyways. Yeah, I'm too dumb to wear those. Is it bad that I just sold the princess thing that he gave me? Does that make me a bad person? I think it might. Uh, look at all these bows. Uh, very slow. Very slow. Very slow. And very slow. Massive throwing axe? That sounds like a terrible idea. Who would want to make a throwing axe like more massive than tiny? By that sentence didn't come out right, I'm not gonna lie. Deals. I kind of gave up halfway through it. But the point of the story is you don't want a bigger axe if you're gonna throw it. Who are you? Bricia! Welcome to the Nimitin, stranger. 
Here we seek to commune with our gods and read their signs. But you are looking for more practical applications of our wisdom, are you not? Yeah, like murdering. That's the more practical application I'm looking for. Um, oh my god, I don't want to look through all of these. I'm just gonna hover over everything real quick, see if there's anything other than yellow. Wait, I have yellow. Oh man, I technically should be looking at all these. Intelligence, energy, energy. Um, I guess technically that's better than what I have right now. By a small margin, but it's I'm kind of too lazy to do it, so I'm probably just not going to do it. What else is over here? Ah, hello. Greetings, traveler. Are you interested in some real Celtic plants? They Maybe. No properties, I'm afraid. Oh. We can't access as many dyes here, but look at these patterns. You guys do have this some real crazy plaid. Myself. It Where? does not compare to what you already have, I suppose. Um. Oh, what I, I have an old white bed like sheet you. that I'm wearing. All the fabrics and colors from foreign lands. Why is that Many kid skipping around with broken about. legs? Shiny silk, the color of sapphires. Oh, you're still talking about colors. Sorry, I was watching the broken leg kid. And the beautiful purple you have in grace. Um, right. Yes. Well, see, here's the thing. Uh, yeah. I'm not really from Greece. I guess I was there. Actually, I don't know where I came from. Did I come from Greece? I don't know. I don't know why she's assuming I came from Greece. Huh. Wow, you got some mean tats on your bicep. Damn! Was that a dragon? Ain't gonna mess with you. Alright, well, what else is to do here in this fine city establishment? Hey, look at you, diamond head guy. You have a cape. See, look at these plaid colors. You got all kinds of colors. Reds, light blues, dark bluish purple, indigo, green, yellow. I think you guys got plenty of colors here. Of Nerthus, it is said that she interacts with humans more so than other goddesses we know. There is an island and a sacred grove dedicated to her, where she has a chariot draped with cloth. Sometimes she manifests in the chariot and drawn Ooh. by cows. She runs drawn by cows? Followers, still covered by the drapes. The chariot, drapery, and Nerthus herself are then cleansed in a sacred lake. Of what? all the people, only the servants who perform this task ever get to see her in person. But this knowledge also heralds their doom. Doom! In the end, they all vanish into the depths of the lake. Oh. So they can tell no man what they saw. Okay. Who would have a carriage drawn by cows? That sounds like a terrible idea. If somebody offered me that, like, hey, I've got this chariot I'm going to sell you. Oh, cool. I could use a chariot. I'm in the, I'm in the need for a chariot, you know. Like, all right, well, what, what kind of, what kind of horses do I get with it? Are they, are they pretty good or are they pretty decent? Oh no, sorry, we're gonna give you some cows to pull it. I'd be like, excuse me, y cows? You mean like horses that you're calling cows, right? No, no, they're cows. Are they bulls? Maybe you know, like bulls might be better. No, 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 they're cows. You know, moo, eat grass real slow. What are you doing with this container? Did you trap a small child or something in here? Yes, I am a cooper. What the hell's a Barrel cooper? Buckets, butter churns, name it and I make it. Is that what that's called? I learned it is something. It's not easy, mind you. But a cooper. But ours deserves a proper sealed casket. Ah, I just wish my son would see it that way. He has no respect for the craft. The silly boy wanted what, to learn magic instead. But all our druids already have an adder. And with my wife... Taken away. Who else is there to continue taken the away? family business? Who's that lady sitting right there? Have you seen him, maybe? His name is Judith. Strapping young lad, but always making trouble. He hasn't come home for two days, and with those cultists abducting people, I'm worried about him. Yeah, that's how I figure out who people are. Huh, there's a strapping young lad. I better note that in my brain. Oh, you're looking for a strapping young lad. Yeah, I saw one. He was about 50 feet that way down the road to the west. You can't miss him. Strapping young lad. That, that, that's exactly, that, that was a less strapping young lad. That's a moderately strapped lad. You know, that, eh, he's not quite strapping. So yes, I have seen 
a strapping young lad. Somewhere. I'm sure. I gotta get out of the city, man. I'm scared. I want to go talk to the princess again. She was much more pleasant and intelligent. Okay, where are we? Globberg outskirts again. Huh. They're just standing in the field at night. Maybe it's a dance or a party. You are also looking for Jadak. He's a good friend of mine. Is he a strapping young lad? I had to tell him as much lately when he wanted to You be look more very than distressed, that. lady. Afterwards, but you don't sound distressed. Weird. Talked about proving something. I hope he hasn't done something stupid. Me too, but he's strapping, so don't worry about it. He can get himself out of any situation, as any fine young strapping lad can. I thought that was a giraffe over there. I, I don't know why. It just looked weird. Ah, alright. Let's see. What do we got here? That looks like a girl. You're a woman. You are... Oh my god, I'm being attacked by a bird! Okay, you're... You're... Wait, wait. I need to see if you're a strapping young lad. Hang on. Get back here. Wait, wait. N no. You look a little past your prime. You are a woman. Okay, well, I haven't found him yet. Excuse me! Are any of you strapping young lads? No, you can't pull that. You're obviously too weak. Okay. You look like you're in a guillotine. Okay, well, moving on. Don't worry. We'll find him eventually. Why is there a small child skipping out here when there's, like, man-eating eagles the size of her flying around? Or is it just me? Did I do something to deserve the ire of eagles? Oh, sure. I get the battle marker, and then there's somebody to talk to. Hi. Ah, life on the land is hard. We have lots of grain, yes, but we have to grind it for many hours a day. Just Are you to German? Have bread. And then the weather and these cultists coming here taking our children. Oh, what is an old woman to do? Well, maybe don't let your children skip around out there. Maybe keep them in the fence. Is there anybody? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Somebody with a broom. I, at least I got to kill somebody while I had this buff on. Makes me feel a little bit better about myself. What is this? What? Enraged bees? I, I didn't even see anything there. It was just, I saw like a small glowing thing on the ground, which made me, you're a thing. Giant centipede, right. Okay. I saw some weird, like, yellowish-orange fire on the ground, and I was like, what is that? And I started losing health. No idea it was bees. Oh, look! Here's where the bees came from. Enraged bees! I, what? I, man, I can't even see you! As if it wasn't for the poison, I wouldn't even know there was anything there. Wow, I'm just gonna flail about wildly from now on. Why did they put a battle marker there? There's nothing to kill! Hey, excuse me, did you know there's raging bees flying around here? They're right over there. What are you doing? Are you clapping for me? Are you are you happy that I killed the bees? You're a beekeeper, you should be unhappy. He's a half troll, should I kill you? Oh hello. Where are you going in such a hurry? Why are Cultists. you talking so slow? Oh, yeah. I think if I have seen I'm them, in but they don't a really hurry. bother me. I'm happy here with my bees, and my they are my friends. Bees. Sometimes there are bears here too. Bears and or bears? They aren't my friends, although they're friendly when they have honey. Only yes. I wish they wouldn't eat our honey. Okay. Um, since you're out in a boat, could you check our honey? Two portions should be ready, or maybe not, but you'd be my friend if you could go and see, especially if the bears are roaming around. Huh? I heard drums. Are we done? Bees, honey, and beers. Right. Bees, honey, beers. I got it. I, I heard everything you said. Don't worry, I'm on it, man. There's like 12 other quests that I have to do also that I don't remember what they are, but I will find the beers and I will kill them. I just have to figure out how to kill these fucking bees! Okay, they're dead. Don't worry. Got it. Whew. Boy, this land is very demanding of me. 
Oh, wait, you guys are normal. I can kill you with my awesome axe from Hades. Yeah. <laughs> that was an amazing double death. Noxious throwing ass of... Ast. I said ass. Axe is what I meant to say. That ass of feasting. Here, get over here, bees. I'm going to flail about until you're dead. Are they dead? I, I don't know what just happened. I really don't. Look at you. 45 to 50 damage. Fast, but not very fast. Seems okay to me. But I kind of like the one I'm using now. Whoa, it shrinks. Never noticed that before. Anyways. What do we got over here? Anything of super value. Oh, I see you bees. Flail about madly and hope you hit something. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna attack everywhere. Did I, did I get him? There's like three there, right? I don't, I don't think I'm hitting anything. Oh, wait. There, oh, there we go. I got it. Don't worry. Bees have been killed. This, this guy is not going to have any bees left by the time I'm done here. He's not going to be a beekeeper. He's just going to be a keeper. And not even like a goalkeeper either. He's just going to be some guy. Oh, I see you, eagles. Yeah, come here. Get wrecked! Don't you hear me, laddie? Just get wrecked for me. Alright. Man, there's a lot of open space here with trees and stuff. Okay, room keeper. I'm just going to call you the sweeper. Got a couple sweepers over here. I think. No, wait, he has an axe. Or no, he has a mallet. I can't tell what that guy had. He was in the trees. Oh! <gasps> it's a beer! Come here, beer! Am I supposed to kill you? Oh, there's two beers. Are you guys gonna run real quick? You are. Aha! Take that! As I pierce through your small, fleshy body. Actually, they're much bigger than me. I'm fighting a couple small chests, apparently. Uh, oh, 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 oh my! Yeah, probably should have switched to my spear, but I was having too much fun. Beehive. Well, this is a beehive too. How come you're the only one that's marked? Why? Oh, I was like, why did I just do that? <laughs> it didn't. It didn't have an item ability, like the ability to click on it. I don't know what just happened. I killed some beers. Oh no, that means I have to go back and talk to that guy. <sighs> Great. I'm thrilled. Absolutely thrilled. Is that a fish? It's a fish! Can't kill the fish. And he's apparently content to go nowhere. Alright, see you later, fish. Ah, yes. The Bilwis. Gotcha. That's a lot of slapping going on. I've never been slapped so much in my life. What? I heard somebody. Ah, there he is. Come here. All of you guys get together. We have a party. Party called Blade to the Face. It's alright, you just have to wear a blindfold, that's all. I still have this on, right? Yes, okay. Sometimes I forget. I don't know. Sometimes it feels like I go feels like I go a while without seeing an item and I get scared. I mean I guess I saw the the honey or whatever it was that I got, so. That's a good enough sign. Scour that prey. Oh, there's... Okay, there's one more of you alive? Yes, okay. Can't see through the trees. It's my only weakness as a supervillain. I can't see through trees. Oh, I hear the beer. I see the beer. Here comes the beer. Ow. Oh! <gasps> Oh god, somebody stop me from using my potion. Or not potion, my, my skill. Okay, do this, do this, and do this. I think beers are easier to kill with uh, a spear. It's a beer spear! Ah! That makes sense now. Okay, throw this. Attack! They really like to just stand at the edge of my range. 
It's real weird. I mean, I can't blame him. I've got a Hades axe. Why would anybody want to deal with something like that? Alright. Uh, I need to go over here. I've only done one quest. I picked up like seven quests, and I've done one. And not Ohio beer. And I don't even know what the other ones are either. I'm gonna have to look at my quest log, probably. Well, you're still alive! I thought I hit you one more time. Clever beer, you blocked it. Clever, clever. Get some! I do like how these guys shrink and flail madly about in a backward somersault when they die. It makes me happy. It makes me real happy. Ah, Rebirth Fountain. Good to see you, mate. Uh, hi -ya! Come here, Druid. Am I hitting something? I'm hitting something again, aren't I? Yeah, there's some kind of collision wall there. Well, just curse you. Curse you, sir. Ooh, this looks like a change of area. Wesser Uplands. Oh, I guess we've already changed. Oh, no, here we go. Teutoburg Forest. Oh, man, this place is very uninviting. I did not use my skill. I don't know why. I was looking forward to studying this prey. I've got my bird binoculars out. Okay, I don't know who to kill first. I'm just going to kill everybody first. Kaka! Take that. Get some. One of these. And do one of these. And do this. And a roundhouse. Come on. Is that the best you've got? Of course, I keep having to kill these little guys because they keep spawning them over and over. Okay, now you're in my range. Maybe I should just do this. I don't know why I'm spearing. What's wrong with me? What the hell am I spearing for? Good god, look how much faster I killed those guys. Screw you. Oh, just in range. Heard that squishing, cutting flesh in my right ear. It was tasty. Speaking of accidentally clicking my skill window, I'm nowhere near another level. Well, shoot. This is some weird, shiny... What was that? Oh, it was you. <coughs> God damn it, don't worry, I'm not dying. Some weird, shiny water. I keep thinking it's some kind of portal or something on the ground. Oh, you guys are dead. Oh, look at all you guys. I'm gonna do this. Oh, you ran. Don't run away. I gotta kill the beer with the spear, though. Remember, beer, spear. But I gotta kill these guys first. Alright, now you're dead, bear. Ah, there we go. It was a silent death, but it was a death nonetheless. Can I use the high ground here? Nope. Forest Creeper, he's the one who got you in a cat beer, you... Did I kill him? I guess so. Alright, study prey. I probably didn't need to do that at all, did I? I don't think so. Okay, yes, run at me. Now I slap you. And then we switch, and we kill this guy. Jeez Louise. Somebody told me to do something in this forest. I don't remember what it was. I think it was that creepy prince guy. I think. I don't remember what he said to do. Okay, let's use this. This seems to work better on you. The garbage bag guys. Garbador. Okay, there we go. Just shove it right in that freaking big ass mouth when he opens it. Right down the esophagus. It's the best way to kill a garbage bag. I should know. Robbers? It's weird how a lot of these guys and things are just coexisting. I mean, what, do they have a pact with the tree folk? They just know they're all evil, so they don't attack each other? Or we've got the eagles and the robbers wandering around with the towns, village, folk, people? I don't really get it. I just, I just don't. Oh, your beer. 
You blend in real well with the ground. Dead. Alright, more garbage bags. Come on, give me that three shot. Switch. Yeah, yeah. Heal. Gotcha. Ooh, there's a cave coming up. I seize it. Can I? No. That's what he's trying to do, too. He's like, oh my god. How, how can I kill that guy? Can I, can I use the high ground to kill that person down there? Huh. 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 Sorry, beer. I'm a human. I'm smart enough to use the ramp. Okay, let's finish all you off. Heal. I said heal. Thank you. Not the most reliable skill in the world. Heal. Oh, maybe still clicking on him. And then bear. Dead. Boy. I would love to dual wield those, uh, Hades axes. I can see that being really cool. Okay, this. Then this. Then this. Perfect strategy. Got me some vinyl growth while I'm at it. I'm gonna have to go talk to a doctor about that. Vinyl growth is never a good thing to have. Okay, we're coming up on that cave. What are you? Natural cave. Okay, there's a normal cave, I guess. Hopefully there was something I was supposed to do in a natural cave. What are you got? What the hell are these things? Earth beetles? Have I fought these before? I don't rightly remember. I feel like I must have. Huh. I mean, we were in Egypt, slash Greece, slash all these places that would probably have a lot of beetles and locusts and plagues and stuff, right? I would imagine. I guess I can just fight you with this. There you go. Prey has been studied, and now it's dead. Gold, wraps, quick axe, and a helm. Yeah, I also think I sold that helmet. Yeah, I think I did. The pointy helmet or whatever it was called. So, whoops. If you are new to this channel and you're joining, I guess, at the end of Titan Quest in the DLC, I that is one of the things that I will almost never do is in any game is wear a helmet that looks makes my character look disgusting and a lot of the helmets are just utter garbage so i will absolutely sacrifice pretty much anything to not have a dopey looking character uh, and helmets always make your character look dopey it's always nice when games offer the option to hide the helmets so yeah just a note and that pointy helmet, I'm sure, would look real bad. Real bad. Which is why I'm always wearing just, like, the simple crown, tiara, headband type things, usually. Because they're not terrible in the end. But, yep, just a side note. That will apply to everything on my channel, pretty much. Do, 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 do. Brown bear. Lots of brown bears up here. Man, I'm just thinning out populations of animals here. I mean, I'm coming into the brown bear's domain. Why do I have the right to kill all of these brown bears? I mean, I guess technically... See, look at this guy running at me. Technically, they're coming after me. If I had a choice, I would just walk through this whole area, probably. It would accomplish my objectives a lot faster. Instead of having to sit here and kill everybody. So, I guess it's not my fault that I have to kill every brown bear in the end. Ah, I just made myself feel better about my mass extinction of a single species. Yeah, you're a tenderfoot thrower. Ooh, I see an objective up there. Rebirth Fountain. I now have an end episode goal. Make it to that Rebirth Fountain. God, these guys are cool. I like that they just keep multiplying. It's so neat. Because it's also, they're not super strong either, so it's not like I feel overwhelmed. It's just more of a fun thing. It's like all of a sudden you have 20 of them around you and it's exciting. 
I don't know. What did I get? Oh, this feels like the speed one. Oh, baby, yes. Oh, man, as Metallica says, light it up. Oh, light it up. This is amazing. This went from very fast with 23%? 23% attack speed with very fast to, like, unseeably fast speed? Oh, oh, yes! This is what I've always wanted out of life. Everything right here is just... Oh, oh, yes. Spear, can you... You're at least... Probably very fast, I would call that. Oh, that is just... I'm gonna miss the speed when it's all gone. That's what I should do. Oh, I should totally find just every piece of armor and jewelry that I can find and do attack speed. I kind of want to try that. I know, it's a stupid build and it's... You're losing all your resistances, but I, I just don't care. I want to have fun in the end. And if I can get like 1200% extra speed, which probably not, I'm sure the game caps it at some lowly human speed. But that sounds like a really fun thing to do, actually. Why is there a ring of onions? These aren't onions, they're mushrooms, you fool. This looks like a trap, I'm not gonna lie. Run away! Nothing? It's just a chest in the middle of a bunch of mushrooms. I mean, maybe that's where I would store a chest if I was out here? I, I don't know. It's easy to remember where it is at that point, I guess. Huh. I have to go back and look. I think I did look at one point what the extra speed bonus is for that shrine and see what I would actually have to get to to replicate that. I'm pretty sure I've looked it up before, though, because it's so awesome. I remember using the Eldritch Bow at that speed, and I was just... I was just loving it. I was having the time of my life. Hey, did you know that one of you guys sits over there, talks really slow, and has bees? I, I don't know. Is that is that a thing you guys are cool with? I could totally kill him for it if you want. I, I'm down for that. Who's hurting me so much? Is it you in the back? You there, in the back. Stop being a rabble rouser. Bone caster. Cast your bones right into the ground. Rah! There you go, you're dead now. Of course, there was two more of you to replace that. Come here, bone caster. Dead. <gasps> oh, it's just this. That's not useful at all. Ugh. I got excited when I heard that sprinkly, shiny sound. <sighs> so disappointed. I really am. Okay, how do we get over there to that rebirth fountain? Is this a- wait, is this a thing that I can look at, or are you going to go on for a while? Are you just a small little camp? Because I'll do you now. Yeah, you're just a small camp. Okay, good. Glad I looked here first. Is there anything over here? No? Alright. Well, thanks for the small primitive chest, I guess. Oh, wait. No, I can't walk that way. Okay. That water is too deep for me, so I will continue this way. In the kiddie pool water. Because it's only ankle high. I can walk through this. Mucks up my boots, though. My boots! Boots, cat, boots, cat, boots and cats. Oh my god! What the hell, man? You guys have never been that big of a threat to me before? I just jauntily walked into that. Well, what happened? Oh. Oh my. Okay, well, there's something else to figure out. My poison resistance is now 21%. Don't quite know when that happened. What? Did I do something bad? This is all the same equipment I've had. Huh. I know, there's something dumb I'm missing somewhere. I'll figure it out. I will figure it out, do not worry. Majestic chest. Yes, please. Oops, nope, that is not the A button. Quite the contrary. That's actually the S button. Has no relation to the A button. Other than it's right next to it. Look at all you fools! Okay, alright. Okay, I get the idea. I... 
I don't think my regrowth worked. Well, fuck! Oh. Crap. Okay, there's a beer up here I need to kill. And, like, thousands of guys. Come on! Okay, here comes the beer. Oh, shit, I didn't read. Uh oh. Quick, do this thing that you do. And then do this thing that you do. Okay, now spear them in the face. No. Go away, beer! Nobody likes you! Stupid beer! Ugh! <laughs> yes, sneak around the tree. Oh, now I've got you all lined up. Okay, maybe not. Run right away! Is there somebody, like, powerful here other than the boss? I don't think so. Yes, run away, beer. Thank you. Now I can fight these guys, probably. Okay, there were two bosses there, weren't there? It's probably what happened. Oop. Oh, also, I forgot. I'm an idiot. You can equip shields with this throwing axe. I need to do that. I completely forgot that's a thing. I actually accidentally equipped my, like, some crappy shield I picked up. And I thought that I had messed up my weapon scheme. I was like, wait, why do I have the throwing axe with my shield equipped? That's not supposed to be happening. But I forgot. I mentioned that, I think, in the last episode. I'm like, oh, hey, you can do shields with this thing. Oh, dirk a dirk a dirk Okay, there's a rogue druid in the back. I got it. I get the picture here. I understand the story. I've seen it before. I know how it ends. There's like three of you rogue druids. And now there's two. Or, sorry, there's two down. Gotcha. How, do you fucking get over here, Mr. Druid? I don't think I'm gonna like you running away from me. No, no, don't go behind the rock. There you go. All I wanted was for you to die. Is it, is it that hard of a task for you? Or should I give it to somebody else if you can't handle it? Man, I got my ass kicked up here. That's crazy. It's like ten of them popped out of the ground and then ten more popped out right behind them. Okay, you're all dead. That makes me happy. Sweet tasty beans, we made it to a rebirth fountain. Ah, this is the perfect place to end the episode. Just with a horrifying death at the end. So I did okay, I think. But yeah, I need to get a shield equipped with this thing. I don't I, I don't know why I forgot. I don't know, okay? <laughs> Leave me alone. I don't know why I don't remember these things. What is this? This is a cape? Ooh. Wait, are you... Are you supposed to be armor? Oh. I thought you'd be neat to put on top of armor. 50% health regen, 34% energy regen. That's not too bad. Wouldn't mind putting on something new to try out. This dopey thing that I got. Do I have a sunstone? I feel like I have this one. I can't make half of these things that I have. It's so frustrating. Oh, I need to go back to this guy, too. <sighs> All right. I can do that in the next episode, I guess. I'm surprised I didn't get more stuff. My inventory's not even close to being full. At least I'm halfway through the level, roughly-ish. Yeah, it looks like I am. Okay, almost exactly, I think. Sweet! Well, I think I'm doing good. I like... This Hades axe, because it looks cool. I don't want to be throwing a freaking woodcutter's axe around. That's just... That's not fun. Nobody likes that. This, though... Yeah. I would throw this around in real life. This thing would be awesome. This is something I would buy and add to my blade collection. I have a shuriken that's really... Not... It doesn't look anything like this, but it's kind of like this, where it's sharp and pointy and goes around. Well, that's exactly what a shuriken is, duh! But it's more sharp and more pointy. Then, well, never mind. I, I Maybe I'll draw you a picture next episode if I remember or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But that is going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Until then, stay metal!